You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's your host, Dave McCann. Big O Tires presents on the rubber. Look at both teams' pitching numbers. For the Cougars, Ben Hansen, three innings, three hits, four runs, uh, one earned and one walk, and he's got three strikeouts. We've seen a handful of pitchers already for UC Davis and Ian Torpy. He is on the hill, throws ball one to Crew Robinson. Green didn't get out of an inning and didn't get an out. He was chased with bases loaded. There's a strike, one and one. And uh, Wayshill came in and delivered two solid innings, two strikeouts, two hits, but retired the Cougars with double plays, and now Torpy is in here in the third. Big O tires. The team you trust. Two and one to Robinson, who struck out his first time up. Hits this one into right field, and it gets over the head of Woldridge. Robinson heads to second, motors to third with no slowing down, and he will slide in for a triple. Second hit as a BYU Cougar for Crew Robinson, and he launched it. Just beyond the outstretched arm of Brandon Wooldridge out in right field. And then it rolled to the to the wall. Now batting number and 33, Cujillo. Cujillo Aloy. Aloy, who lined into a double play with the bases loaded to end the first inning, is back up and a chance to drive in Crew Robinson in a 4-2 game. Here's Aloy's first look at Torpy. Inside and high for ball one. Cougars have been looking for some offensive momentum. They thought they had it in that second, in that first inning. They got two runs. Bases loaded, nobody out. and That's all they got. Big swing by Aloy. Might have got a piece of Gallagher. And uh, our home plate umpire is going to Dust off home plate and give Gallagher a chance to regroup. Might have nipped that hand. And he's back in there. Aloy steps back in. Robinson over at third with the leadoff triple. Swing and a miss by Cujillo. One and two the count. There's going to be some growing pains with a freshman called on to be a starter. And uh, Aloy is, watches a ball bounce into Gallagher's chest for two and two. And the pitchers are going to start pitching Aloy a little bit differently after his show of power in those uh, Arizona games. And then he'll have to adjust. Right now he's looking for a fastball to mash. Two and two. Here comes the pitch. Popped up into center. Might be deep enough for Robinson. And the catch is made by Wolbert, and Robinson is motoring in. And an RBI for Cahillo Aloy, and it's 4-3. to three. Now the freshman did his job, get some high fives heading into the Dying dugout. Number 17, and that Easton brings up Jones. Easton Jones. Struck out his first time up. And the challenge has been so many pitchers for UC Davis. That every time a BYU batter comes to the plate, they're seeing somebody for the first time. Ball one to Jones. Boy, he hit a towering blast over at Sloan Park. There's ball two. It bounces in there. One out here in the fourth. In a 4-3 UC Davis lead. Jones waits. Here comes the pitch. Puts up half a swing. They check it down the line. And it's a strike. Two and one. Jones has been hesitant the last two games with his swing at the plate. Here comes the pitch. This one into left field. It is way back. And Jones has knocked it out of here. No hesitation to that one. Easton Jones with his second home run of the season. 
And just like that, BYU's tied the game at four. Line drive home run to left field. Damian Stone went back to the track, turned around, and watched it go. And the Cougars have struck for two here in the fourth. That's what Trent Pratt wants Easton Jones to do is be a free swinger, now use that power, 10, and knock that ball around. Here's Parker Goff. Hit a double his first time up. Now the Cougars with some life in the dugout. Goff looks at a strike. Nothing more contagious than hitting with the exception of a bad goal. 0-1. Outside, 1-1. One and one. Now Torpy getting tagged for two here in the fourth inning. Six hits for the Cougars. From the stretch, here he comes. That's inside. And he gets a piece of Goff, and he heads down to first. And that keeps things going. And now the leadoff man, Breiker Hertzman, comes to the plate, but not before Zach Thornton's going out to the hill to talk to his pitcher. And again, the uh, Aggies went into their bullpen in the first inning. We're going to have a pitching change, so that'll be it for Torpy. And we'll take a break. Game tied at four in the fourth. BYU baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Cougars Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. It's another PZ pitching change brought to you by PZ Printing. Nothing inspires like prints. And UC Davis throwing Sal Batries out there. He's a freshman, and he's the fourth pitcher of the day already for the Aggies. Freshman out of Covina, California, 5'11", 180 pounds. And Baytrees is going to face Breiker Hertzman with Parker Goff over at first base in a 4-4 game here in the top of the fourth inning with one out. Gymnastics tomorrow night at the Marriott Center. 24th ranked BYU hosting number seven Denver, nine Eastern time on ESPN+. Plus. So the Cougars have got something together here in the top of the fourth with two runs. A sacrifice fly by Aloy, and then a home run by Easton Jones. Parker Goff came up next and got hit by a pitch. He's at first base. And Hertzman, who to walk and a single, is up for the third time. Trent Pratt has described Breiker as the, the best athlete on the team. We've seen him run and throw. He covers a lot of ground out in center field. And he looks at ball one from Bay Trees. <laughs> one and oh. This should play right into BYU's hands. There's ball two. UC Davis, I don't know how deep their bullpen is, but they're picked to finish in 10th place in the uh, Big West. And BYU hitters should have a lot of opportunities as we move forward. Throw back to first, and Goff's staying safe. Four pitchers in four innings. Herdsman waiting at home. 2 and 0. Oh. There's a strike by Baytrees. 2 and 1. Two runs in for BYU here in the 4th. The pitch and that hits Hertzman. And so he's going to walk down to first base. Goff over to second. Hertzman to first. Now batting number 11. And Luke, Luke Anderson, Anderson, who hit into a double play his last time up, comes to the plate looking for redemption. He has some home run power. 
Right now, he'll just take a single in a 4-4 game. Batries comes in, off the plate, ball one. Might be buying Ben Hansen another inning or two as BYU has tied the game at four. Anderson waiting. The 1-0 pitch, here it comes. Outside, ball two. Teenager out on the hill, taking on BYU. Looking at two guys on base who've been hit by pitches. And Luke Anderson, 2-0 pitch. There's a strike. Two and one. He needed that one. Anderson was all freshman team honoree last year in the WCC. Before that, he was the Utah Gatorade Player of the Year out of Snow Canyon High School in Santa Clara, Utah. And uh, a lot of leadership expected out of him as a sophomore. Played a lot last season. Here's a 2-1 pitch. Inside and high, 3-1. and one. Colin Reuter is on deck. Anderson looks over to Trent Pratt, steps back in the box. As wild as uh, Batries has been, you could let this one go and let the count go full and get a walk. Here it comes. And he goes after it, pops it up, and just out of play, just over the fence, which protects the fans down there behind the UC Davis dugout. So now the count is full. Anderson waiting for a breakthrough moment here in this early first road trip of the year. Full count. And the freshman pitcher delivers, bounces it in there for ball four. And now Anderson's down to first. Herdsman is at second. Goff is at third. Two have been hit by pitches. Now and then 18, Anderson was walked. Colin and that typically means they are ripe for a hit into the gap to pay for all these unfortunate events if you're pulling for UC Davis. Walks are so brutal in college baseball. Let's see if BYU can make them pay. First pitch to Reuter is bounced into the dirt. Ball one. Now, Batries' problems are mounting here. Reuter's got some power as well. 1-0 pitch. Here it comes. Reuter into left field with a base hit. Goff will score. Hertzman rounds third. He's going to score. Anderson stays at second. And Colin Reuter with a two-run single. And BYU's back in the lead, 6-4. to four. Got to come in with a strike when they're loaded up. And uh, Batries put one down the middle. And uh, Reuter pounds it into left field. And for Colin, that's his fourth hit on the season, his second hit of the day. And now Cooper Vest comes to the plate. Our umpires are having a discussion out at second base. And I'm not sure what it is, if that base came loose. But Luke Anderson's out there. And uh, the huddle breaks up. Tyler Kuba goes back to first base first base coach 6 to 4 BYU four runs are in in the inning one out vest at the plate with runners at first and second and he looks at ball one from Baytrees and uh, Tommy Nicholson pondering his options here where to go next this is your fourth pitcher of the game with a single and an RBI and a ground out. 
It's the big inning BYU has been waiting for. Throw back to second, and Anderson's just in under the tag. Oh, nice move by Bay Trees. In that first inning, Vest put one between left and center field. 1 0 pitch. Outside ball two. And with a pitcher all over the place. And BYU's here for three days. There's no hurry. They can spend all night at the plate. 2 0. Oh. Here comes the pitch. 3 0. Oh. And this one gets past Gallagher, and the runners move up. Anderson to third, and Reuter to second. And now Vast is looking at 3 0. Oh. First base is open. Brock Watkins is on deck. So let's see how this freshman plays it. And they're just going to send Vest on down. Not even going to pitch. So for the second time in this game, the bases are loaded. Another meeting at the mound. And Sal Batries has not been the answer. And we got another pitching change. We'll see the fifth thrower for the Aggies after this. You're listening to BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's your host, Dave McCann. Our PZ pitching change brought to you by PZ Printing. Nothing inspires like print. Andrew LaCour, senior out of Walnut Creek, California, is coming in, left-handed pitcher. He's the fifth of the game for UC Davis. And head coach Tommy Nicholson replaces the freshman who got into more trouble with a senior that he's counting on to get BYU out of it. In the first inning, the Cougars had the bases loaded with one out and hit into a double play to end the threat. Well, here in the fourth inning, they've done it again. Bases are loaded. Four runs are in in the inning. Cougars have six runs on seven hits. The Aggies have four runs on three hits. Two of those runs, thanks to three defensive errors in the first inning. But Brock Watkins, junior out of Pleasant Grove, Utah. Got hit by a pitch in his first at bat. And a fly out his second at bat. He's up to the plate. You can read my article on Brock and Colin Reuter and how happy they are to be healthy. Back from injury and back on the field in today's Deseret News. Deseret.com. Two fantastic young men. And uh, Reuter's had some big moments already in this game. And now Watkins has a big moment here with bases loaded and one out. Now batting number two, Brock Watkins. LaCour, the lefty. Watkins in the right side of the batter's box. Here's the first pitch. And it's outside for ball one. Go, Andrew! Luke Anderson's at third. Reuters out at second. Cooper Vest is at first. Here's the pitch. Watkins fouls it back. One and one. Crew Robinson, who tripled his last time up to start all of this, is on deck. One one pitch to Watkins. Gets the outside corner. One and two. Crowd trying to encourage LaCour to get out of this jam. 1-2 pitch to Watkins. And it's hit down the line and fair. Anderson will score. Reuter's going to score. Vest over to third. Watkins has a two-run double. And it's 8-4 to four BYU. Six runs in the inning. And the hit parade continues. As Robinson, who started all this with a triple, and Aloy hit a sacrifice fly. That's the only out. And now Robinson's back, and Watkins is at second base, and Cooper Vest is at first. 
Here comes the pitch, a lefty against a lefty now, and that's ball one. Eight runs on eight hits for BYU. LaCour delivers, catches the inside corner. Robinson doesn't like that call. It's one and one. Robinson hit his triple to right field, put it over the head of Wooldridge out there. Here comes the pitch. Here we go. This one goes to right field. This one's way over Wooldridge's head. It's over the wall. Home run. A three-run home run by Crew Robinson. And he finally gets to show off some of his power. The grad transfer from UC San Diego clears the bases. Best is in. Watkins is in. And a towering blast by Crew Robinson. And it's 11-4 BYU. And now Aloy comes up. Now batting number Nine 33. runs in the inning here Leo in the fourth. Aloy. LaCour fires a strike. Aloy lined into a double play and hit a sacrifice fly to start this inning. This ball bounces all the way back to the screen, one and one. A nine-run fourth inning for BYU. And just one out still. Inside and high. Ball two. Two and one. East, Easton Jones hit a home run in the inning. He's up next. Wind up and a throw. Strike two. As Aloy watches that one go by. Well, the mood is certainly different now over that BYU dugout. It's been tough going the last few games, but now everyone seems to be hit 2-2 pitch. This one fouled back by Aloy. And part of that, obviously, is made possible by the fact they're deep into the UC Davis bullpen after chasing the starter in the first inning. But that's how you do it. And now the Cougars are having batting practice. 2-2 two, two pitch. That one's in the dirt. And the count is full. Three two pitch from LaCour. Here it comes. And this one's into center field. And that one's drifting back. And it falls in between Woldridge and Wolbert. And Aloy has a stand-up double. Now he's heading to third after a delay, and he'll slide in. Not a throw. He got to third base. Might not have been how he envisioned it, but uh, but he's there nonetheless. And the hit parade continues. That one right out near the 385 marker. The center fielder, Wilbert and Wooldridge, had to run forever. We just kind of had to hold up to see if they were going to chase it down, and it eluded both of them. Now here's Easton Jones and another meeting on the mound. As uh, one pitcher after the other has been lit up. We're going to have another pitching change. We're back with more in a moment. 11-4 to four in the fourth, BYU, and they're not finished. You're listening to BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's your host, Dave McCann. Zach Romero is the sixth pitcher so far tonight for UC Davis. Our PZ pitching change brought to you by PZ Printing. Nothing inspires print. Romero is a sophomore out of Chatsworth, California. Saturday, it's a big day for BYU in the Big 12. The Cougars are at Kansas State. 2 o'clock Eastern time, a noon mountain start. Right here on BYU Radio with Greg Rubel and Mark Durant. Cougars will stay on the road and play at Kansas on Tuesday. 8 o'clock Eastern on BYU Radio. BYU going into that historic venue, and the Cougars are in position to uh, 
now, get a double bye in the Big 12 is tournament Zach if they can continue what they're doing. Now batting number 17, it starts with Kansas Easton State Jones. on Saturday. Easton Jones steps in the box. Nine runs already in for BYU here in the top of the fourth. Cahill Aloy is at third. Romero throws a strike. And Jones watches it go by. Home run to left field with the last swing for Easton Jones, his second on the season. We talked about his role to replace Austin Deming. He hits it into center field. Aloy comes in to score, and it's a single with an RBI for Jones. And it's 12-4. to four. Now up on the scoreboard here in the ballpark, it, it's a now zero because BYU Parker scored Dahl. 10 in the inning. But um, they don't have a 10 spot up there. Now Parker Goff, who was hit by a pitch his last time up, he fouls it into the screen. Twelve runs on 11 hits for BYU. Four runs on three hits for UC Davis. Romero throws high. Ball one, one and one. And there's still just the one out. That was a sacrifice fly by Aloy about 35 minutes ago. Goff takes a big cut. Strike two, one and two. This was the inning that Trent Pratt was hoping for, as we heard in our pregame visit. Relax the troops and get them up playing aggressive. Ball two, two and two. They got a little tight in that second, in that double play that ended the first inning after getting two runs. And then they have loosened up, broke it open here in the fourth. Goff pops it up down the right field side. That's a long run for Wooldridge, and he can't get to it. It's a foul ball. He must. He ran 40 yards trying to chase that one down. So the count stays two and two. <laughs> Women's basketball is at Iowa State Saturday, 7 Eastern, 5 Mountain here on BYU Radio. Romero delivers another foul ball by Goff. Home opener for the Cougars is Thursday afternoon against Gonzaga. We look forward to that one. 2-2 pitch. Outside, ball three. Gary Scheide is going to join me on ESPN+. Plus. Look forward to getting back together with my old friend. And uh, Greg Rubel will be back on the radio Thursday. 3-2 pitch to Goff. And he hits it foul down the left field line. Riker Herdsman is on deck. Jones over at first base. 3-2 pitch is in the dirt. Ball four. And Goff, in this inning, was hit by a pitch. And now he's drawn a walk. Now batting number 13. And Hertzman, the Riker leadoff batter, comes in. In this inning, he was hit by a pitch. And now he's back up. He was hit by a pitch a couple of pitchers ago. First and second with one out. And now it's just a lot of laboring for the Aggie pitchers. Ball one. one oh pitch. Swing and a miss by Herdsman. Luke Anderson's on deck. Here's the pitch. Herdsman muscles one into center. That one's deep. It's over the head of Wolbert. Jones is going to round third. Goff it stays at third. Herdsman flips a U and runs back to second. 
It's an RBI double. And now Goff waits at third. Herdsman's at second for Luke Anderson. Now batting number 11, Luke Anderson. 11 runs in the inning for BYU. Still just the one out. Anderson drew a walk his last time up. Romero comes in. Outside. Ball one. And working from the stretch. He delivers. And there's ball two. And now Anderson can just wait for one to come down the middle. 2-0 pitch. There it is. Driven into left field. Goff's going to score. Herdsman's coming around. He's going to score. It's a two-run single by Anderson. And it's now 15 to 4. And Colin Reuter's coming back. Early in the inning in a two run single. Now batting number 18, Colin Reuter. Well, when Trent Pratt said he was going to get a big inning today, we didn't think it would be this big. And we've got another walk out to the mound for UC Davis. They just can't find the answer. On the pitching, still no sign of moving to the dugout. As, uh, as they visit with their Jack Romero. And now they will make a move to the bullpen. New pitcher coming. We're back after this. 15-4 to four Cougars. You're listening to BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's your host, Dave McCann. Caden Riccamini, a senior out of Mount Shasta, California, is going to take his whack at it. As another pitching change, this is the seventh UC Davis pitcher, and we're still in the fourth inning. A PZ pitching change brought to you by PZ Printing. Nothing inspires like print. I don't know what PZ Printing paid BYU, but they are getting their money's worth in this game today. Still just the one out. 13 runs have come across here in the inning. Duff Tittle, I'm sure, is listening to this broadcast, and I expect him to text me if we get close to a record here. And you know damn well... And we got Anderson on first, and the Cougars aren't even finished. They're not done yet here in the fourth. Chance to visit via text with Mike Littlewood, former BYU coach, now out for in college basketball, keeping an eye on the Cougars. A few of these guys, including Watkins, Reuter, part of his group. Trent Pratt, his former assistant. And uh, always good to connect with Mike. Colin Reuter is going to step into the batter's box. Colin Reuter. Anderson's over at first. Rick Amidi will go from the stretch with Anderson at first. And the first pitch is high and away for ball one. The UC Davis crowd has been lulled into slumber over here. 13 runs will do that. There's a strike down the middle. Good looking pitch by Rick Comiti. Reuter with a two hits already today. A couple of three runs batted in. And that one's inside. Two and one. Anderson over at first. Here's a drive to left. Reuter puts it up into the California sunshine. Way back there. Damian Stone runs it down for the second out of the inning. 
And that'll bring up Cooper Vest. Vest drew a walk earlier here in the fourth. Go, Ken, one more. Now batting number seven, Cooper Vest. And now Rick Amiti trying to do what his predecessors could not, is just get out of this inning. Here comes the pitch. That's ball one. We saw a home run by Robinson to right field. Vest has similar power. See if he can get one up into the breeze, which is blowing that way. Two outs, Anderson at first. Here's the pitch. Woo! Big swing by yeah, Vest. Strike one, one and one. I think our microphone has found uh, Rick Amidi's mother. 1-1 one, one pitch. Yeah. Swing and a miss. 1-2. and two. But you know what? She deserves her moment here. Rick Amidi trying to end a 13-run BYU inning. So we'll let her yell. 1-2 to Vest. Outside. Ball two. Two and two, an eternal inning for both sides. Here's the pitch. Woo! And Vest looks at strike three. Rick Amiti closes it out. And the fans and his mom cheer him on, but 13 runs come in. Woo! It's 15 to four. You're listening to BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more Cougar Baseball, let's rejoin Dave McCann. Welcome back to Davis, California. BYU leading UC Davis 15-4. to The bottom of the fourth inning. Ben Hansen sat in the BYU dugout for 40 minutes. The top half of the fourth inning went 40 minutes. And BYU scored 13 runs. And for Hansen, it's like a, a fresh new start. He throws a strike. The count's one and one. Braden Wooldridge at the plate into left field. Anderson moves to his right, gets underneath it, and makes a catch. One away. Wooldridge saw a lot of, of activity out there in right. Now batting number 33, Mark a Wooldridge. A triple by Robinson. Or, yeah, and then Robinson had a home run over his head. That's a lot of. Anguish in deep right field. One away. Wolbert looks at a strike. And now Ben Hansen looks up at that scoreboard and sees an 11 run cushion. He can do what he wants out there. Blows it past Wolbert for strike two. O2 pitch. Tries to get him to go after a low one. Woolbridge is a wise hitter. Hit 262 last year, third best on the team. Mentioned earlier, one of the top prospects in the Big West Conference. A couple of ground outs today with an RBI. This is a sink right up the middle in the center field for Woolbridge. Got right underneath the feet of Hansen. And Joey Wright comes up to the plate. Now batting number two, Joey Wright. Wright had a bunt earlier, reached on an air on that bunt, and then came back and struck out. The Aggies led four to two after three innings. Ball high from Hanson. From the stretch. Hanson delivers a curveball. A bender misses the plate, ball two. Two O pitch from Hanson. In for a strike. Just got a text from Duff Tittle. 
overseas baseball sports information. Unfortunately, we don't have a stat category in our red runs all time in a single inning. But they got 13 here in the fourth. Hanson fouled back by Joey Wright. The count two and two. We've seen some high scoring games over the years at Miller Park. I don't know if I've seen a 13 run in it. But we've seen one today. 2 2 pitch. Hanson delivers. This one's popped up and out of play. A lot of foul balls today. BYU kind of break with the weather. Game last night at Cal was nice and pleasant under the lights. Beautiful today. It looks good for tomorrow and for the series finale on Saturday afternoon, an early one. Hansen with the pitch. Misses outside. And the count's full. Gets the corner. Strikes out Joey Wright. He thought maybe he had a walk. Tried to sell it with a confident step out of the batter's box. And then our home plate umpire, Rob McKinley, rung him up. That brings Damian Stone to the plate. The left fielder with two outs here in the fourth. A strike by Hanson. Look over to first. Now he comes in. Stone shows bunt, pulls out. One and one to count. Taking his time. This one into center field. And moving over is Herdsman. Anderson there too as it drifts to left and into the glove of Luke Anderson. And the Aggies leave one. We've played four complete here in Davis. 15 to four Cougars. You're listening to BYU Baseball on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Cougars Baseball on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. Brock Watkins taking the first pitch, hits a roller over to third, scooped up by Alex Gavea and a quick out for UC Davis. BYU leading 15 to four here in the start of the fifth inning. And uh, now Rick continues on the hill. Robinson. A crew Robinson who had a towering three run home run to right field steps in. And as I say that, Woldridge is backing up. He's hit it over his head twice, one for a triple, one for a three-run home run. Robinson came into the day, one for 16, but uh, has found his stroke in his last two at-bats. 1-0. Now Riccomiti, this one is fouled down the left side and out of play. One and one with one out. Long wait by Rick Amidi. Here he comes. Outside and way high. And it's two and one. And Rick Amidi looks into his catcher, Jack Gallagher. And delivers outside and high. And it's three and one. Kuhio Loy is on deck for BYU. Here's the 3-1 pitch. Woo! In for a strike. And it's 3-2. and two. Do it again, right here. Now, 
Robinson steps in, wants a fastball, maybe a little bit inside. He'll take it to right. Here's the pitch. Whoa! Swing and a miss. Strike yeah! three. And Riccomiti gets Robinson down, and there's two outs. And Aloy comes to the plates. Let's go, Aggie! Now batting number 33. The making some a much shorter Aloy. inning. That top of the fourth went 40 minutes. Here we're on the top of the fifth, and two up, two down for BYU. And Aloy looks at a strike. Now he waits for the second pitch. Here it comes. And it's ripped into left field. Base hit for Cahillo Aloy. Hit a double his last time up and follows it up with a single, a two-out single here in the fifth. And Easton Jones steps up. In that fourth inning, he had a solo home run to tie the game. Then he came back and had an RBI single. But it wasn't against Riccomiti. So here's his first look at the seventh pitcher for the Aggies. He goes after the first pitch. A big swing and a miss, strike one. Aloy over at first. Here's the pitch. Curveball comes in high. Here we go. One and one. These pitchers have been in a hurry. That pitch clock has not been a factor today. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch from Riccomiti. And it goes into center field. A base hit by Jones. Malloy moves over to second. And it's a three-hit day Let's for go. Easton Jones. Let's go. One more. And now, now about Parker, number 10, Goff Parker Goff comes to the plate. He's got a double. He was hit by a pitch. One more right then he scored. Here. He would have walk and scored, and now he's up for the fourth time. Two on, two out here at the top of the fifth. Curve yeah, ball, a little ball. high for ball one. Five o'clock Eastern tomorrow, three Mountain Time, game two of this three-game series, right here on BYU Radio. Here's the pitch, outside, ball two. Right, two and zero. Oh. Leadoff man Breiker Herdsman is on deck. Let's go. 0 2, 2 0 pitch. Yeah, There's a strike. Go. Now it's 2 1. The challenge for UC Davis is their bullpen is going to be worn out before they even get to the second game. And we could see a number of these guys again tomorrow and Saturday. When your pitcher doesn't get out of the first inning, it's nothing but trouble. Here we go. Fouled back to the screen. The count's two and two. Goff had a double last night. He's got a double here today. And he looks at the pitch here and pops it up in the infield. Running over is the first baseman. Gets underneath it. Jason Hansen makes the catch. No runs for the Cougs here in the top of the fifth. They still lead it 15 to 4. You're listening to BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Cougars Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Alex Gavay looks at ball two from Ben Hansen. That ball flew past everybody and into the screen. Gavea reached on an air and hit a double. Bottom of the fifth inning here. Davis, California, and a perfect night to be playing baseball. BYU leads at 15 to 4. Hansen comes in with a strike on the outside corner. Hansen was on the brink of getting chased, and we saw a handful of pitchers going down to the bullpen in the third inning. Here's a swing and a miss by Govea, 2 and 2. And then, then BYU put 13 runs on the board in the fourth. And that. Uh, Bought Hansen some extra time, and now he's certainly on his way to a 2-0 start. Beat USC last Friday. 
inside. Ball three, and the count is full. Govea, good with that hitter. Here comes the pitch, and he fights it off. First team all Big West last year. Out of Manteca, California. Three and two. Here's the pitch by Hanson. Chop foul. I was in a cab coming from the Oakland airport to Berkeley to rejoin the team in time for last night's game. And I asked the cab driver how long he'd lived in this area. He said 27 years. I said, well, what do you like the most about it? Without hesitation, he said, the weather. And the weather is perfect today. Hanson comes inside for ball four. And Govea earns a walk. Now batting number 22, Nick Leahy. Nick Leahy's up. He's got a bunt, RBI, and a double for an RBI. He's got his fingerprints all over those four runs for UC Davis. Bottom of the fifth. And uh, Govea over at first base from the stretch is Hanson. Inside nearly hits Leahy. Hanson has been far from sharp, much different from last Friday. But with the run support now, he's going to he get through this inning. He'll qualify for the win. Ball two inside, 2-0. Two and, oh. and now Abe Alvarez is going to come out and have a visit with them. BYU's pitching coach, Alvarez back from last season. And then new to the staff, Adam Law. Son of Vance Law joining Trent Pratt's group. Tyler Kuba over from Arizona. Trent Pratt said he just needed some energy, some new energy in these guys, both young. Baseball minds, they give it to them. And uh, BYU heading into the Big 12 and Trent Pratt thought it was the best time to shuffle his staff around a little bit. And here we are, the Big 12 opener in two weeks. 2-0 to Leahy. Here comes Hanson after the visit from Alvarez. Hard hit to third. Jones is up with it. Over to second for one. On to first for two. Double play. Easton Jones over to Crew Robinson. And uh, finishing with Cahill Alloy. And there's two down. Now batting number seven, Leighton Helfrich. Leighton Helfrich is up 0 for 2 so far today. That first inning, BYU had three defensive errors. It's totally out of character for this group. It kind of stunned them. And uh, gave up two runs. It was a 2-2 game. And then Davis... UC Davis took advantage of another mistake and added a run, and then added another one and led four to two after three innings. And then uh, BYU got serious, scored 13. Nice strike on a curveball by Hansen as uh, Helfrich was fooled and went by 0 and 2. Back to the windup. Hansen comes in. Can't get him to chase and throws a ball. BYU has a lot of young arms on this staff. And uh, we may get a chance to see a few of them before we're done here today. And not because of damage control. One two pitch from Hansen. Struck him out. And we've played five complete. And BYU leads at 15 to 4. You're listening to BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more Cougar Baseball, let's rejoin Dave McCann. Now batting number 13, Bryker Herdsman. Welcome back. And at the plate is the leadoff man for BYU, Bryker Herdsman, here in the top of the sixth inning. And BYU leads UC Davis 15 to 4. And what a day already for Herdsman. 
Ball one bounces to the plate. You check the swing, no swing, as Rikamidi continues to work for UC Davis. He's been the only guy that can get BYU batters out. Here comes the pitch. Herdsman hits it over to second base. The second baseman is saying, I caught it, and he's ruled safe. He tried to sell it on the dive. It'll go as a single for Herdsman, and now the uh, umpires are going to huddle it up and compare what they saw. A diving stab by Leahy to keep it from getting into center field. question is, did he trap it or not? Leahy tried to sell it, but he's not selling it currently, so maybe his conscience has settled in Uh, because if he'd caught it, he might be a little more adamant about it. And our three-crew umpire group has huddled up just to the right of the pitcher's mound. And now they're going to call him out. So a nice stabbing play by Leahy, and there's one away. Now batting number 11, Luke Anderson. This game's not on television, and so there's no replay to check that out. Now Luke Anderson steps in, and with a 15-4 lead, Trent is putting up much of a fuss. Anderson looks at ball one off the plate. Two-run single his last time up. Part of that barrage. And there's a strike on the outside corner. And the count's one and one. Awfully quiet here at the park for the moment. Inside and high. Ball two. Rickamiti comes in. Woo! And that one's high. Oh, that's a great pitch. Ball three. That's His mother did pitch. not agree with that call. Three and one to Anderson. Here comes the pitch. And that one is called a strike. Three and two. Anderson a little confused because that was actually. Worse than the other pitch. Here comes the 3-2 pitch. Back into the screen. Fouled off. Cougars have seven games to get ready for West Virginia. This one, two more here. Three against Gonzag at home. And then UNLV. This one back into the screen. And then we'll make the flight to Morgantown for the Big 12 opener. We'll have that on BYU Radio. Every conference game's on ESPN Plus as well. 3-2 pitch. Anderson goes after one that's outside and strikes out swinging. And there's two down here in the top of the sixth inning. And Colin Reuter comes to the plate. Colin Reuter. Reuter with a two-run single in that 13-run fourth inning. He waits for a strike. Curveball floated in there by Rick Amidi, who's really done a nice job since entering the game. Here comes another pitch, and Reuter hits this one shallow right field. Out there in the only shadowed part from the scoreboard is Woldridge, who makes the catch. And BYU goes down one, two, three. Bottom of the six coming up. 15 to four Cougars. You're listening to BYU Baseball on the, the new skin, the BYU Cougars Sports the Network. The this is BYU Cougars Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Ben Hansen back out for the bottom of the sixth inning. He'll face Jack Gallagher. You know, as Cougar Nation goes with BYU fans everywhere, a moment ago I met uh, Travis and Heather Libert, their son Rockwell, is on the BYU baseball team, but finishing up his mission in Argentina. He comes home in June, so we'll see Rockwell next spring, but they live in the area and they're out supporting the Cougs and uh, excited to have their boy as part of Trent Pratt's program here coming up. And uh, Visit for a moment. Said, Tell uh, Elder Libert we'll see him 
at Miller Park next spring. One and one, the count to Gallagher. A check right back to Hanson, and there's one away. Now batting number 30, Jason Hanson. The sun will be a challenge for the batters here in this park. It's behind all the fielders. So the catcher, the home plate umpire, and Jason Hansen at the moment have that lowering sun right in their face, as does this announcer. So be patient. Here's Hansen with the pitch. Try to bend it in there for a strike. It's a ball, so it's 2-0. and Wind up for the 6-6 sophomore outside. I was talking to Ben after the USC game in the postgame show, and uh, we talked about what it's like for a kid to come right off his mission and into the starting lineup as a pitcher, which he was last year as he throws a strike and it's 3-1. And, one. and um, he said it was the hardest thing in his life to get his body back and his mind right uh, at this level of baseball. He went 0 for 5. Had some good Saturdays. He had some bad Saturdays. There's a strike on the outside corner. The count's full with one out here in the bottom of the sixth. But uh, it's a challenge, and it's a challenge that if you haven't done it, you can't really know. We see it in football all, all across sports. These athletes come back and need some time to get it back together. Shortstop Watkins, beautiful play, retires Hanson, and there's two away. If you but his mission body for Ben Hansen is now in his past. And, uh, he is excited to be the series opening starter, right where he's slated. And uh, season opener against USC. Cougars won it 8 to 1. He pitched five solid innings, picked up the win. He's going to get the win here today. Swing and a miss by Wooldridge. The next time we see Hansen should be uh, next Thursday. An afternoon game with Gonzaga in the home opener at Miller Park. A long wait by Hansen, and here he comes. Outside and high. Hasn't had his best stuff today. But uh, after the Cougars limped out of that first inning, They've had more than enough with that 13-run fourth. This one is inside. Two and one. So Watkins is going to play first base this year, and he's going to play shortstop. And Reuters back where he belongs after a spectacular freshman year at catcher. Injuries kept both those guys out last season. They were missed. Three and one. Watkins over in that shortstop spot has had some nice plays already today. Here's the 3-1 pitch inside, ball four. And Wildridge draws a walk. Heads over to first. Now batting number 33. Mark Wolbert comes to the plate. We're going to see some fireworks from Wolbert before this series is over. He's too good of a hitter. And uh, he's one for three so far tonight with an RBI. He lays down a bunt. Bunt and foul right back off the ground and into Reuter's mitt. Strike one. Oh, and one. Look over to first, comes home, and hit into right field. And Vest is waiting for it. Into the glove it goes, and that's it. We've played six, 15-4 Cougars. You're listening to BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.